Okay, back to this thing here. I apologize for the long delay. We were filming the other day and got this far and then through a technical glitch lost all that we had filmed. So it's back to square one. I have to cut me out a new blank here. So anyway, to start off on this pattern, anyway, to start off on this pattern, one thing I noticed right off, I went over and I brought my skull over here because I decided to go ahead and carve carve the skull, not the carving. That way uh, I won't be influenced by this because it, if you've ever tried to duplicate carvings, it just never seems to work out right. So it's best just to start all over if you want something that's going to be unique and different. So we're just going to set this one aside. Give that to Judy there. But anyway, getting back to this uh, pattern, one thing I noticed when I brought this over here was I drew the eye and the horn uh, posts just did a little in the wrong position. On the original pattern, I had the high eye down at this location. Well, it's not too late to move it up to this location. And the horn I had set back here, but looking at this skull, it's not too late to move it up to about here. Okay? Just a minor adjustment. Now if you jumped ahead and went ahead and used these positions, you, you'll be okay. But if you haven't jumped ahead, go ahead and uh, move those things forward because you can see on the skull, that's where they are. They're a lot higher to the forehead than uh, down lower on the skull. So anyway, let's go ahead and we'll draw, draw these in here. Just rough them out. carving these areas, always leave yourself lots of slop. It's always better to have too much than not enough. Okay, so there we go. We got those on there. Alright. Put that out of the way. Now the first thing I need is my glove and my thumb protector. are in the wash so fall back on my Walmart filet glove here okay now I'm not going to be using old reliable on this thing because uh, with this skull there's lots of twists and turns in here which requires a narrow knife so let's just look at this here's here's what we'll be after is these uh, sloped areas in here right in here and in this area right up in here. It's basically what I've done, done right here. And I'm not going to spend too much time showing you about roughing this out because you should be able to figure this out yourself. This is good practice for carving because with all these different areas going every which way with the grain really gives you a challenge to learn how to Carve. Mm. 
And by that I mean areas like this right here. See here you have your circle coming down here like this. Well if you draw a line right there in the middle of that, that means in this area here, everything has to go that direction. In this area here, everything has to go that direction. If you try to do the opposite, it isn't going to work. up here. There you go, we got our posts done. Alright, so let's just go ahead and clean off the saw marks on this side. See this area here, how it's scooped in here? Look at it from the front. It looks like it's, you know, it would be even from the front silhouette here, but it's got that scoop underneath there. So just looking at that. There's a drastic scoop in here, but we can already see just by whittling there that line right there is right there. So we can pretty well stay away from that. The teeth come down to about there, and they're sloped back. Just take a peek. You can see up in there. I have to take the skull off the mounting board here, but I'm not going to do that. Just so we hit it close enough, that's all we're after here. Okay. Back of the skull. As you can see, we've got this side pretty well lined out to this, to this. Now 
we're not going to concentrate on this area back in here so much because if you're going to mount this thing like I did on my Indian hang and this was up against the side of the Indian so it's not that critical and there's just no way we can carve all that intricate bone detail on this thing because it's really not necessary. So we've reached this point right here so I'm just going to set this one aside and pick up where I left off on this one here. Now, notice there's a slight curve to the eyes here. Oh boy, that boy's heavy. You can see that right there. Now mine's a little more goggle-eyed than this one here, but still yet that curve is there. We want, we want to emphasize that. And also one thing here that you're going to notice, well, besides from these uh, horn caps being totally loose, is uh, I've had this skull for, oh shoot, 10, 10 years or so, hanging in my gallery, and it's been drying out over that period of time. And when it dries, it shrinks, and you can see that it's starting to split apart here on the joints of the various uh, uh, bone plates especially right there in the center, because when I got it, that was pretty well close together in the middle part up there, from the middle part on up, I mean. A little bit there, back here on the back, it's really evident, back here where it comes into his spine. There's a bullet hole that killed him. That's okay. So on this here, I think what we'll do now is we'll work on this area right here. Well, mockingbirds are singing. We had one outside our bedroom window last night that just sang all night long. Okay. And we want to separate his teeth. You can you see down in there? facial plates here.
get from the front here to sort of even these things up. center. See just that line alone really brings the skull out, doesn't it? So then if we come in from the eye You doing this is going to give you that excuse to go out and buy that buffalo skull you've always wanted. You can tell your spouse or your mom and dad that to do this thing right, you really have to have that skull. 
You can find them on eBay real, not real cheap, but a lot cheaper than you'll find them anywhere else. While you're at it, you might as well tell them you need a buffalo robe too. That'll really help you when you're doing all those Indian carvings. Right now, I'm just indicating the separation of these plates. Pretty good. Just a little deeper. So there, we're getting there. So I think that's going to do it for this segment. And uh, we'll pick this up a little more in the next one. I think she's looking, she, he, I think it's looking pretty good. Certainly got the shape there without too much work. So, the next video we're going to be doing, probably doing a little Dremel work on the eyes and this area back in the back here for this, that one bone back there. I think that's pretty critical. We have the bone. It's just an open back there. Okay, so hopefully I can get this video online here pretty quick and we'll continue on this project in the next one. So until then, I'll talk to you later.